What's up, you guys? It's Jason Josh here from Gen Z Reptiles, and we are outside the Arlington NARBC show. And we're going to be picking out the top 10 coolest ball pythons inside. So, guys, stay tuned for an awesome list. Josh was not lying. We've got some really amazing snakes on this top 10 list. And the snake coming in at number 10 is a Butter Sunset from CD Constrictors. It's a pretty simple combination, but Sunset really brought this new color palette to the ball python world. And in combination with Butter, it creates this very unique looking snake with super thin golden outline pattern on this very soft burnt orange down the entire body of this snake. One thing that Sunset does tend to struggle with is browning out as it ages. So if I were to add one gene to this, I would have to go with Desert Ghost. I think that could really help enhance it as it ages. And I haven't seen the combination yet, but I think those two are going to really work very well together. At number nine is the Orange Dream Freeway from JSA Reptiles. This is another simple combination, but it looks fantastic. I think what's going to start happening in the ball python world is more selection for fewer genes that just contrast super well. One thing with this snake is that it has this really nice orange tones and there's actually multiple tones of orange and it kind of bleeds in that with that strong black on the back which is typical of the freeway combination one thing that i would add to this which might sound a little bit funny is banana i think banana would work really well with that orange dream and just make this sucker glow the ball python coming in at number eight is a super shadow ghost from southern star reptiles this is a really cool snake to see because this is the first time that the shadow actually has been debuted as a gene at a reptile expo. It was discovered by Southern Star Reptiles and they've been working it for a little while now. They did find out it's within the chocolate complex, but it obviously stands alone as its own gene. This particular snake has this really nice purple haze down the back along with some nice golden pattern as well. And if I were to add a gene to it, I would definitely have to go with Clown. I know it'd be a long road to get there, but I think it'd create a very unique looking animal. Our number seven pick is an Acid Mojave Ultramelt from Steve's Morphs. I really like the color scheme on this one. You get this nice purple and yellows from the Ultramel Mojave combination, and the Acid brings in the super wacky pattern. One gene I would love to add to this combination is Blackhead because Blackhead and all the other darker genes seem to really bring out that dark purple when you add it into Ultramel. At the number six spot, we have an Azanthic Puzzle from KDF Reptiles. Josh and I got super excited to see this animal because it's taking two of our favorite genes, the VPI Azanthic and the Puzzle, and it's combining them together. And I will admit, probably everybody could have predicted that this is exactly what this combination would look like, but it's really cool still to see it come to life. I do think this could use a little bit of enhancement though, so what I would add, it's not one gene, it's actually two genes, so I'm kind of cheating here, but I would add Firefly to this combination to take it up to the next level. And since we're halfway done with this video, I just want to take one moment to say thanks to our sponsor of this video, which is JD Constriction. And he also happens to have gotten the number five spot on this list with his Leopard Firefly Azanthic. That being said, he did not pay us in any way to be on this list. This is just objectively the fifth coolest snake for Josh and I to see at this show. This animal has some amazing contrast, blacks and whites, like you can expect from JD quality line of TSK Azanthic. And if I were to add anything to this, I would definitely have to go with Orange Dream. If you don't know why I pick Orange Dream, it seems kind of a weird gene for this combination. Well, you definitely should check out our other video where we tour JD's place because you'll see what Orange Dream does with Leopard in combination with TSK Azanthic. Coming in at number four is a Freeway Clown from Ring Reptiles. And though it is a pretty simple combination to hit, this one looks absolutely crazy. It has some very bold patterns. There's some good contrast between the rustic oranges and the yellows on the side. If I had to add one thing to enhance this combination, I think Spot Nose might do the job because I think it would disrupt the pattern even more and hopefully make those reds even brighter. The snake at number three is a Cypress Fire Spot Nose Yellow Belly Clown by CTH Reptiles. This snake actually made our top 10 coolest ball pythons of 2022 list, and I can't believe we actually saw it in person. And just a side note, I'm super jealous of Jersey Guys Balls because they scooped this thing up right in front of us. Congrats, you guys. What an amazing pickup. Anyway, if I had to add a gene to this combination, I'm still sticking to my guns, and I'm adding lace. The snake at the number two spot is a spot nose yellow belly red striped fire russo clown by kittinger reptiles and jason is always bringing heat to these shows unfortunately the snake was not for sale but i definitely understand why he's just going to keep on bringing heat to these things and if i had to add one thing to this combination i think i would go with black pastel and i know that'll make a pompeii but it'll be like a pompeii plus i think those extra added jeans russo and fire will really bring some contrast to that combination and finally, the coolest ball python of the Arlington 2022 fall show is this Black Pastel Wookie Leopard Coral Glow Clown by 
of course, Canova. And I promise you guys, Justin's not paying us for this number one spot. Canova just brings the heat to every single one of these shows. I mean, look at this thing. The colors are unreal. Just perfect orange and purple. And it even has a nice ringer at the end of the tail. If I could add one jean to this, I don't know exactly how it would work with this combination, but I think adding Mandarin might be cool because I feel like that's one way that you could really enhance that orange. Wow, you guys, that was an amazing top 10 list. Definitely go check out those breeders and give them a follow. Also, if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and go check out our top 10 playlist to see more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.